This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to OpenStack Platform webinar, uh, version 16, and to the COS company, Complete Open Source Solution. My name is Mohamed Ali, and today I will be with you in this moment to talk about uh, cloud computing and one platform from Red Hat product, one product from Red Hat, name is OpenStack. Okay, let's start. First of all, um, information about Complete Open Source Solution. Complete Open Source Solution is a Red Hat partner and a training, training partner, actually, and consultant. And um, we are working in course on Red Hat, uh, Red Hat Academy, and Star Certification, Amazon, AWS, VMware, and CNCF through the CKA Certified Kubernetes Administrator, Certified Kubernetes for Developer, and Certified Kubernetes Security. Cost experience here is more than 15 years on this industry, in this industry, with Red Hat and the other brands. And in cities like Hyderabad, Bangalore, Buenos Aires, we have branch and they will deliver training to retail and corporate in India and outside. Okay, my name is Mohamed Ali. I'm working in COS as a technical consultant. I'm certified on Red Hat in RSCA, Red Hat certified in actually architect. In this road, I have, I'm certified on RSCSA, RSCA version 678, and virtualization, hardening, and uh, JBoss middleware administration, uh, plus Ansible automation platform, uh, please mute yourself if you don't want to say anything. Thank you. And uh, Gluster Storage and OpenShift containerization platform from the Red Hat. And VMware VCP DCB version 7. And from the CNCF, I'm certified on CKA right now. And I booked my CKS exam to attend security part from CNCF. This is me and I'm um, today the review for OpenStack platform. For today, agenda is what is cloud, what is type of the cloud, what is OpenStack, OpenStack architect, and OpenStack some features as I wrote here for you. And at least we have FAQ and we talk about question and answers, queries, whatever. Okay, let's start this one. Question number one in this road is what is cloud computing? I know you have experience or someone maybe doesn't have experience, by the way. You know, when that's all we talk about cloud computing and why we need cloud computing. Today, right now, cloud computing is a major thing in the world. Previous it wasn't like this. Previous any devices and hardware that you catered at your home or your office. No one thought about maybe we can put them these resources on cloud. We didn't have cloud. For example, if you have a bachelor degree project, or if you want to run a specific project for yourself, or a company wants to do something, they didn't have any option unless access to hardware. No option. Yes, I know about virtualization. Maybe you will ask, we can virtualize. Of course, we can virtualize. But that one is not that reason you will get access to these resources from cloud. Then you should have machines, you should have resources, you should buy or you should rent. You could learn something like this in past. But one day, cloud computing happened and helped us to manage resources from cloud and access to resources from cloud. And this is one very big actually progress in the job. Then cloud computing is a model for ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to the shared pool of configurable computing resources, such as server, storage, network, applications, and services. You know better than me this part. Then if we can put access, if we can get access to these resources, on demand, based on the demand, 
then they have a one concept, the name is cloud concept, because they are accessible from everywhere. You can access to your platform and you will select your what do you want or what do you want, what do you need, and you will select. You have experience on cloud right now. We have so many clouds, public, private, hybrid. I will explain. One time, I know you tested because some of you coming from the companies that have cloud by own. Then you know, you will open the platform, you will choose your resource, storage, network, CPU, memory, and you will click create. And your instance will be ready because hardwares are available on cloud on demand and they are not static, they are dynamically available for you and you can choose then in few seconds, your instance will be ready and you can get access and you can work. Even operating system will be there. Then now no need to buy computer for your project. You can rent it. You can take it from the cloud. And on demand, ubiquitous is convenient means based on demand accessible from everywhere. then resources can rapidly provision with the minimal management or service provider interaction or interfering. They will not inter they will not come to your request. You will send, I need these things, and they will give you access to resources. Please go and choose. This is your choice, choose it. And orchestration will be happen and Suppose the billing system will be happen and they will charge us, for example. And you know today, cloud computing charge is very less. But what is going on in background? Who will provide it? How it works? This is for user watch into the user uh, perspective. Then, this is a point of what? This is a point of the cloud computing. Resources are available based on demand. And that's it. And what is the self-service? You know better than me. Self-service means everything is on the self. It's buffet and you can take it. <clears throat> what do you want? Do it by self. Then cloud computing is important concept and you know better than me. This is the basic information about it and it works properly like this. The next one, now who will provide this cloud computing? So many providers, they are providing. They are providing platform or they will give service to the customer. Maybe they are <clears throat> platform provider or maybe they are in customer service, they will serve the computing, this cloud model to the customer. By the way, when you come to cloud, you can watch here how many models are available. And you know again better than me, public, private, and hybrid, they are the major models of the cloud are available right now. Then you have what? You have public, private, and uh, what is that one? Uh, hybrid. In public cloud, in this IT model, on demand computing services and infrastructure managed by third party provider and shared with the multiple organizations using the public internet. Give me a sample. Suppose, shall I say AWS, Amazon Web Service, is a public cloud? Is it accessible by everyone through the one internet connection organization? Yes, some differences here, but by everyone will be accessible. Then we have a public cloud. I'm a public cloud provider. My cloud will be accessible by everyone in entire world. Anyone can access. Open your internet, come to my address, create your account. Yes, your self-service is open. The main page will be open. And yes, please choose whatever answer you want. But don't forget, you are not the owner. We are user. And third party provides this platform to us. Next, 
will jump to private. You know, but in, in opposition of public, we have a private cloud here. The private cloud says just accessible by a specific and unique owner. In private cloud, and we know about internal cloud or cooperative cloud, it's a cloud computing environment in which all hardware and the software resources are dedicated exclusively to a specific accessible, accessible by specific user or customer. Sometimes you want to run your cloud in your office because you have just one customer for this office and you want to use it, like so. Then you will not use public cloud. You said, I want to own, create my own cloud. Network part, resource, resources network part, storage part, CPU part, memory part, whatever, whatever. And not accessible from outside. Yes, this is accessible just from inside. This is the private like private IP and public IP, accessible through the internet, pingable through the internet, and accessible from internet. And you have hybrid cloud. If you want to combine two of these things together, you have hybrid cloud. The hybrid cloud, sometimes called cloud hybrid, is a computing environment that combines on permissive data center, with the allowing data center application to be shared between the customers from inside and outside. Then if you configure both public and private and will accessible the users accessible and the, the cloud will accessible from outside and inside for a specific customer and general customers, you have been created the hybrid cloud. It's accessible from inside your company and from outside of your organization. Then you can combine them to the cloud. And you can use OpenStack in public, in private, and in hybrid. After that, we should talk about models. The models of what? The models of cloud computing. They will, the cloud computing performs a, a it, it, it will be available in these three models for us. You know, infrastructure as a service, or platform as a service, or software as a service. And each one has own a specification, dedicated explanation. In infrastructure as a service, we are allowed the cloud consumer to provision computing resources and software. Whatever you want, you can do entire. This is infrastructure as, a, as a, infrastructure as a service. We will allow anyone to access and do whatever as they want. Create instance, choose operating system, install application, zero to 100. Infrastructure as a service. But in platform as a service, provide operating system, libraries, programming language for cloud. We have Red Hat OpenShift, as a platform, as a service, they will give you ready-made platform, installed operating system, and platform Red Hat OpenShift on it, and you can practice on it. You don't have access to the upper layer as an infrastructure. It's ready in this level. And you have a software as a service, just you can choose your operating system and software you want to use in cloud software as a service. Then these three things, these three models, these three sub-level of the cloud computing, cloud computing, they are available and they will give the service to the customer. OpenStack platform is a one platform, provides infrastructure as a service. Entire things are available in front of you. You can choose your instance configuration, operating system, application, and deliver it to customer. This is the maximum access and permission on cloud computing if one model can provide infrastructure as a service. Let's jump to OpenStack. Before continue, anyone has question or query about the previous models as we practice and explain? Was it 
clear for everyone? Hope. Oh. Yeah, clear. Good. Because they are important because if you want to continue with specific model, you need to know about basics and we should know where are we and how it works and how we can continue. Okay, let's jump to one platform for cloud computing. The name is OpenStack. OpenStack is an open source platform that uses pool virtual resources to build and manage the private and public cloud. Then we can pr create private and we can create public cloud. You can run it and put it on internet accessible, or you can run it on your organization. The tools that comprise the OpenStack platform called Project handle the core cloud computing service and of compute, network, storage, identity, and image service. If I come down, you can watch here the cloud, the OpenStack core components. To the user, you will come to the dashboard. The name is project name is Horizon. Then first we'll go through the dashboard. The name is what? The name is Horizon. And we will try to access to OpenStack to connect to OpenStack and access to the OpenStack suppose uh, what is that one? Platform. Any question? Okay. Then we can access through the dashboard and the Horizon project to the OpenStack. This is the first step as you want to come. Then someone should identify me, authenticate me. The name is what? The name is Identity Service or Keystone. The Keystone or Identity Service, the project name is Keystone, allows me to authenticate. It will authenticate me and it will connect to the actually background services for authenticate user. And after that, you have a component, the name is OpenStack Networking Service, the name is Neutron. The Neutron platform or Neutron, uh, OpenStack Networking Service or Neutron, it will manage the IPs accessible from inside, outside, IPv4, IPv6, public, private, whatever. After that, you need a block, a block storage service. The name is project name is Singer. Each each component on OpenStack has official name, project name, block storage service or Singer. Who will provide image storage volume for your instances? And next one, it is compute service. The compute service or NOVA, a service that manages networks of the virtual machines run on the nodes providing virtual machines uh, on demand it will control everything it will compute everything the compute service is a distributed component and interacts with the identity service for authentication then horizon as a dashboard we are inside the we, are, we will get access identity management system or keystone will authenticate us this authenticate suppose is important, a central identity, centralized identity service that provides authentication and authorization for other services for a specific user. Then we have someone to provide network service, a service that handles the creating and managing of the virtual networking infrastructure models in OpenStack. And we need something to provide and manage the storage for instances for the VMs. Don't forget today, virtualization port is melted into the cloud computing. Don't forget. When you are working with the cloud computing, when you want to create instance and running, you are working with the one part of virtualization. By the way, the Cinder block device storage provides the actually uh, storage volumes for the virtual machines. This is the persistent block storage for the instances running on the compute service. And we jump to compute service. Who wants to manage everything? And the name is Nova and it works. Do you want to run your instance? Yes, of course. Okay, you want to run it from where? I need one ISO image to take it and install operating system. 
the name is Glance or Image Service Provider. A service that acts as a registry for the virtual machine's images, allowing users to copy images and create instances. We have this registry with different level in containerization. In containerization, you have image also. When you want to run the application in the form of container, you should log into or access to the registry where you save and store your application images. This concept is not new concept. You can use it in different level also. If I want to compare it with the Linux, you have a location to store packages. The name is repository. Here we have the registry and images, either for virtualization, sorry, for, oh yeah, for virtualization or for containerization or for cloud computing, either for cloud computing. Then someone, we need to provide this part. And if you want to access to this uh, object storage, I need to put some data there and take it. The name is what? Object storage. This one also is available there. The name is Swift. A service providing object storage that allows users to store and retrieve files like G Google Drive or other providers. Then here you are watching we have OpenStack network service, the name is uh, Neutron. After that, you have block storage device, the name is Glance, the project name is Glance. You have compute node core controls everything, the name is Nova. You have image provider, you have object storage to provide the specific location for the users to put and date and put, put and retrieve information, data, you have telemetry service here, you are watching it, and you have orchestration service. In telemetry service, a centralized source for the metering and monitoring data, you know that one. The project name is Sagometer. And you have orchestration service, a service to orchestrate multiple composite cloud applications using the Amazon Web Service or Cloud Formation template, or any other things through the REST API. If I want to ignore orchestration and telemetry here, the other components that are mandatory here, if you want to work with the OpenStack platform. Then this OpenStack platform called projects to handle the core cloud computing services <clears throat> of computing, networking, storage, identity, and image plus dashboard. Dashboard is there. In virtualization resources such as storage, CPU, and RAM are abstracted from the variety of the vendor specific program and split by the hypervisor before being distributed as needed. And in OpenStack uses the consistent set of the application programming interface or APIs to abstract host virtual resources. All we communicate in the API with each other. Then, OpenStack is an open source platform, uh, Red Hat OpenStack platform, allows us to provide cloud computing service for public or private user hybrid customers. You can deploy it for yourself or for your company and organization, or you can combine it. Um, these components, they are here to help us and manage our uh, OpenStack platform. Just here, dashboard, again, one few seconds review, graphical user interface, who wants to identify me, identity service, Gstone. You have OpenStack networking model, Neutron, and Compute Nova. You have block storage, image storage, and object storage, glance, uh, seeing their glance and swift, and you have telemetry service for billing and monitoring, for the metering and monitoring, and you have orchestration if you want to bring and export or import service to orchestrate multiple composite cloud computing together like Amazon AWS and OpenStack or cloud com cloud formation template. By the way, for create what stacks.
here you are watching the information of this one uh, of uh, OpenStack in little bit details. There are the project names, and you have a client tools here. You have OpenStack Core, and you have a lifecycle management plus operation tooling. They are here for this type of job. And You are working, you have a web front end and API uh, proxies here, you have a workload provisioning, application lifecycle, and you have orchestration, compute who is work here, in storage who is working here, in networking who is working here, on hard in a hardware lifecycle who is working here, in shared services who is working here. There are the components as we watched before, but in details you are watching. They are not unique. They have alternative if you want to use, you can watch them. And you are watching the exactly, uh, what is that one? Uh, the projects through the Red Hat and uh, who is involving to these things, suppose through the Foreman, Cluster Storage and Surf, and OpenStack is here to do that one. You have virtualization here. You have Enterprise Linux here, you have Apache, and you have a CentOS OpenStack platform is involving into this uh, projects, plus CoreOS, ManageIQ, Ansible, and HAD or Red Hat OpenShift, plus JBoss middleware administration. In this one, we are talking about OpenStack roadmap in from 2018 to 2026. Red Hat OpenStack Platform 13 available in 2023. In mid, we have OpenStack version 14, 15, and now version OpenStack is 16. And in 2020 to 17, will be released. If you come down and check, you have a long life release 13, 16, 17, and in term uh, uh, release, the name is 11, 12, 14, and 15, and long time, long life is important because they will get more update and actually more stable because they have to stay in the market and in the world for more than time. In the next one, we have features about OpenStack. Before I start this one, I would like to show you what we will practice on this OpenStack. And when you come to the OpenStack, what will be happening? First of all, this course is OpenStack CL210 and in CL210 we will practice on OpenStack administration. Pre-request and requests for the CL210 is a CL1110 because in CL110 we will practice on the basic and a little bit intermediate, but in CL210 we will practice on more intermediate and advanced concepts. But then if you want to come to CL210, first you should finish CL110. And CL110, as soon as possible, we will provide it in the video record. I will provide it in the video record to who wants to continue CL210, and you can do it myself. But in CL210, based on the roadmap, we will work and work on concepts like this one. Then, some chapters are here to practice on CL210, uh, navigating the Red Hat OpenStack platform architecture. We will practice on what is the architecture and actually concurrentization service on OpenStack and described in the under cloud and over cloud. Don't forget, I will explain what is under cloud and over cloud. We'll jump to operating the OpenStack control plane to practice on control plane, control plane service and operations, and on backing and restoring the control plane. We'll practice on managing infrastructure security, end-to-end -end secure service, and managing OpenStack user security, integrating IDM backend to configuration. We'll practice on role, project, groups, whatever. We'll practice on managing application deployment resources, Comparing image formats, building customized image and customizing image and deploy the image and create instances through that image. And we have managing storage in Red Hat OpenStack platform, implementing block storage and object storage. And we have share file system, 
we will practice on OpenStack networking, network protocol type, OpenStack Open Virtual Network implementation, and Open Virtual Networking Service. We'll practice on compute node, who wants to manage all of them together, describing the instance large process. We have Red Hat hyper coverage and infrastructure, plus compute node administration. And in the chapter number nine, we have monitoring in, and chapter number 10, we have automating cloud application through the Ansible. We'll discuss about how it works and how to do it. And troubleshooting chapter also is here. Some errors that will be happen through the OpenStack, how you can manage them, how you can handle them, how you can work with them. Because you know better than me, troubleshooting is a huge and messy part. We cannot explain and they cannot explain exactly what happened on the actually uh, what is that one on, on, on errors and what we should do in troubleshooting troubleshooting needs experience but by the way some parts that are clear some errors that are clear and if you come to the red hat community also you can find out so many troubleshooting parts but by the way we have this on this thing here also to practice then these concepts and chapters that are inside what inside a course the name is red hat open stack platform 16.1 the code name is cl210 now if i want to come back here and uh, if i want to give something like this we have some features inside the open stack why i explain the concept and the topics for you before going to the features because when you come to the course you should know what you will do face to face what topics you will be face to face you will face to face with these topics as cl210 course practice on openstack now in openstack we have what we have some features they are what they are available here to help and work before that one you are i want to say one feature and one important feature is multi-stack director deployment we have one concept, the name is under cloud, and we have one concept, the name is over cloud. In under cloud, it's a main director node, the machine name is director. And it's a single system OpenStack installation that includes components. Don't forget the architecture, the architect on Red Hat, unless that com core component, as you watched, we have something else here under cloud, over cloud. The under cloud is a all in one host, it has whole components for provisioning and managing the OpenStack nodes that from your OpenStack environment. And over that one, under that one, we have one concept, the name is OverCloud. It's the resulting Red Hat OpenStack platform environment created using the UnderCloud. We will use under cloud to manage the over cloud. And in over cloud, you have multiple stack of everything. See guys, CPU one, CPU two, CEP one, CEP two, CEP three. Control one, control two, control three. Then this feature before that, it wasn't available here to manage multi stack of resources. But this in this in this or in this open stack version 16. This one is possible and available. The next one is here in compute node. We have what? We have the actually, uh, what is that one? We have the mm, feature here. Suppose this section outlines the top news feature for the compute services, live migration for the instances with the technologies, SR, IOV, or single root input out virtualization. It's possible right now, or band being aware scheduling is possible right now. Then for compute mode, we have multi set deployment, we have collection, uh, uh, we have live migration, we have migration, live migration of the pin instances, and we have bandwidth aware scheduling. Suppose in bandwidth aware scheduling, you can create instances that request a guaranteed minimum bandwidth. In this feature, just available in uh, our uh, OpenStack version 16, 16.8. Don't forget 16.1, and right now 16.2 available too. 
for networking, you have HCL access for the load balancing services. Oh, this is Octavia. Octavia is the competition of the Nova. Remember, that one is available there. And the Red Hat OpenStack platform load balancing service, Octavia now supports the IP access control list or access control list for that. To limit incoming traffic, this feature is available here. Then we have what? We have these things for the network. For the storage also, we have block storage service, change key when clone, cloning the volumes. Image service manage detection of the encrypting key and the director support backend availability zone configuration and you have removal of data processing service, the name is Sahara. This store, this, this features for the stack for the net for the storage also. They added into the OpenStack version 16, and suppose they will be accessible into if you want to use it. Okay, in the storage part, we will talk about it. In networking part, we will talk about them. In computing, we will talk about them. And here, I put at the cons uh, topics as we will practice on OpenStack. OpenStack control plane or managing infrastructure security or my OpenStack user security and so on. So the total things as we will practice on OpenStack version 16.1. Uh, please unmute yourself and talk to me about your concern about in OpenStack or any question query on OpenStack. Oh, open Let's talk together. Let's talk together. Hi, Mohammed. This is Venkish. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm an fresher. I mean, I don't know about the uh, cloud and other things, but mm -hmm. learn cloud. It is in a uh, demanded course, and uh, it's in a good thing in the future also. So that's why I am interested in the cloud. So I don't know the basics of these things. Any pre-requisite uh, documents or any another thing I need to learn before joining the cloud okay good question maybe this is the question of all of you yes let me show you one thing here because right now we are out of the explanation then i would like to show you something uh just a few seconds let me attach my right to this laptop huh? okay come to my machine i'll come to my pen drive and let's jump to Linux and let's jump to Red Hat and Red Hat. Uh, if you want to answer your question for OpenStack, we have CL110, we have CL210, and we have CL310. First of all, let me clear something to all of you. Right now, OpenStack is using on the most industries, example, telecommunications. You can run your Kubernetes orchestration platform over there on top of the OpenStack. You can deploy OpenShift Red Hat platform containerization on top of the over there through the OpenStack. Then you can deploy OpenStack on hybrid, public, private. You can use it everywhere. With this reason, OpenStack is important. I know we have different different cloud and maybe for the public cloud you will say hey AWS is there Ali yes of course I don't want to say no yeah it's there but this platform also has own space between the others and has specific and dedicated customers and technologies running on it okay if you want to start 110, 210, and 310, right now we are in 210, version 16. And for the previous one, the pre requests for that one is version 16, 110. We will provide 110 in the recording video to you, and I will explain what is 110 version 16. Here, you are watching the concepts of 110. Then if you want to come to the cloud computing, you need to, first of all, suppose if you have a first time you want to come inside, first of all, very good choice as you have been 
selected. And in OpenStack 110, we will practice on the basics and how to actually prepare yourself for CL210. And we will provide the CL110 in video record to all of you who wants to continue CL210 and practice. But the answer is yes. If you want to start any cloud, first of all, in the information of what is cloud, how it works, what is the component, how many types, how many models, it's a good point to start. And it, not, it will not take your time more than a few hours to understand what is it is to answer these questions. But after that, you will choose your platform to continue. Then you should jump into that specific platform and start reading the basics of that platform. For OpenStack also, we have CL110 and we will provide it as soon as possible in video record. Then you can continue by start by CL110 and continue to CL210. Yes. Hope this answer was useful for your question. Yes, Mama, but uh, I don't know about the basics also, networking or some other thing. Am I eligible to learn the cloud? Okay. okay. See, uh, if you want to start in any cloud computing, any concurrentization platform, any middleware platform, guys, today you need to know about basic Linux concepts. My suggestion is if you are in Red Hat platform, you should finish your RHCSA. I don't want to say you should come to your class. I don't want to say something. As a consultant, my suggestion is you should complete your RHCSA knowledge or any other courses provides RHCSA level and covered topics, specific networking, specific storage, specific controlization, specific how to manage Linux. Because in CL2110, CL210, we will not practice on Linux and concepts of networking or something. Yes, networking on OpenStack, not networking on Linux. With this reason, the suggest is what? The suggest is how to manage Linux, uh, how to how, or you have manage Linux before suppose jump to the uh, or advanced course or like OpenStack. Uh, give me a few seconds. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, okay. Hope this 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 answer also was useful for you. My request is, uh, I don't want to ask you to go through the total RSCSA, but minimum is finish some subjects on RSCSA to get the uh, view and a perspective of actually uh, networking. Then it will be helpful. Then it will be helpful. If I can help also, I will help. That one. Hope this answer was useful for your question. Cool. Yeah, okay, thank you, Mama. Okay, it's okay. Guys, Hello. talk to me. Hello, yeah. Yes. Uh, I have, as a system admin level, I have one doubt. Uh, okay. Um, See, so in uh, normal ways, VMware, uh, we, uh, the same policies will work in OpenStack also? Uh, you want to run the VMware on OpenStack, means you want to run hmm. ESXi on OpenStack? No. no. No, no, I don't want to run a VMware on OpenStack. Just I want to know the, the main difference between OpenStack as well as a VMware. Okay. If you know about VMware, VMware is a king of the virtualization in the world. Okay. They have different, different platform for themselves. Come here with me. Let me do one thing. I will connect to my VMware account. Go get, come to, what is it? I cannot watch my screen. Go get it. Okay. VMware. VMware Cloud Platform. Cloud solution 
from the VMware, any application, any cloud inside the VMware. The VMware, it's not uh, actually a cloud provider, but you can use the VMware into the, uh, what is that one? Into the cloud platform. Okay, the, the VMware is a virtualization provider. So many platforms on VMware are available here. You can run orchestration or Kubernetes, uh, sorry, containerization as a VMware Tanzu. You can run your virtualization on ESXi. You can manage your ESXi with the best fear, client and server, right now just all over places accessible. But you can compare, uh, you can run your VMware in top of the AWS or OpenStack. But we don't have exactly a specific platform to run the, what is that one? And cloud over and uh, VMware to provide the cloud. Am I clear? In, in VMware, we have we can run the virtualization, but you can run it in top of the cloud also. I don't know if this answer was useful for you, but in VMware is different platform as a virtualization and OpenStack is a different platform. But don't forget, now virtualization is melted. I said it's joined to the cloud computing. Because when you want to run the instances, you need to have access to the resources like virtualization. Means if you ask me Red Hat virtualization or OpenStack, I will say Red Hat OpenStack. Come to OpenStack. Because in one part, you need to know how to manage virtualization. But if you want to compare to these platforms together, that is virtualization platform, this is cloud computing platform, what you can run the ESXi in top of the OpenStack. Okay. We have one concept, how to deploy OpenStack Tanzu over the OpenStack, uh, run the, sorry, deploy uh, VMware Tanzu on top of the in, on, on OpenStack platform. Suppose, suppose. Next. Any other question and query, please? Uh, Chen -chen, tell me. Nothing, sir. Fine. Uh, is it nothing. Fine? Okay. Then sometimes, suppose you want to run the pure platform, open uh, computing platform. Sometimes you want to run different platform in top of the computing. Suppose that is that question as you asked about if you compare VMware and OpenStack, it's like that one. That is for uh, virtualization, the, the, the best one. But we can run it in top of the OpenStack. Means we can run the instances and over the instances we can put PS6 and manage it through the best way. Any other question and query? Okay. Uh, hope this session talking about OpenStack and cloud computing was useful for everyone. I don't know you have experience or not. I know you have experience, you are professionals, but maybe maybe you didn't work on OpenStack. Maybe you have experience on different cloud for yourself, but hope this webinar, in this webinar, we just talk about open, we talk about OpenStack and cloud computing, not in detail, this is a general webinar. And it should be uh, accessible by everyone to get the concepts, but hope this, uh, webinar today about OpenStack and cloud computing it was useful for everyone and you got the point what is the cloud computing models OpenStack specific from the Red Hat and what we will practice on course CL110 as a video record will exactly as soon as possible be released and CL210 as a course exactly as you are joining today to get the point on it and topics and some of the points. If you don't have any query question, with respect, I will stop the call and hope meet all of you into the CL210 class. We practice on OpenStack, what is it in details, and so on. Sure. Thanks. Okay. Have a good time. All of you, thanks for attending. Today is the weekend time. You put it your time with me. And thanks for attending. All of you, hope to see you again in the other webinars. Kubernetes, JBoss, again, OpenStack.
hope to meet you again. Have a good time. Take care of yourself. Bye.